Hi, I am Elisa Grahovac and I work with Michael Wetter's team at the Simulation Research Group here at Berkeley Lab. You're watching the second video in the Simulation with CDL intro series created for the Best Center Annual Institute 2020. In the first video, we installed the Open Modelica and downloaded the Modelica Buildings Library. I will first open the Open Modelica Editor, OM Edit, and load the library. The library is already populated with several example controllers or control sequences created for tutorial purposes. Let me navigate to the model that I will be demonstrating in this video. I will go to, to Buildings, Examples, Tutorial, CDL, and controls. I will double click on system on off and we will be looking at this model. This model consists of CDL block. CDL is control description language. On the far left, we have two interfaces to receive sensor signals, one from the outdoor air temperature sensor and the other from the room air temperature sensor. F further to the right, you can observe two blocks that generate a constant real number output signal. The top one generates a constant temperature cutoff value above which the heating should never be on. The bottom one generates a constant room air temperature set point for the heater. Each of the constant temperature signals is being compared with the corresponding sensor output signal using an on-off switch that contains an inbuilt hysteresis. Uh, this hysteresis enables us to avoid short cycling as it uses an offset between a value which causes a device to turn on if it was previously off and the value which causes the device to turn off if it was previously on. In this small controller sequence, we would like the heater to only switch on if it was sufficiently cold outside and at the same time the room temperature is below its set point. In CDL, this is stated with this AND block, an output interface to send the output to a controlled device is on the far right of this block diagram. A group of such interconnected CDL blocks is saved as a model under the name system on off, and it can be used to control a heater. How do we validate the control intent on the, of the controller? I will now show you how to use simulation to test out the functionality of the system on off controller. For each model in the library, there is at least one validation model in the corresponding validation package. I'm navigating to the validation model called system on off. The system on off controller acts based on two sensor inputs, the outdoor air temperature and the room air temperature. We emulate these signals using sine waves. The top sine wave represents the outdoor air temperature and the bottom one the room air temperature. Will our controller act as expected? First, we should check the model to confirm that it is well built by using the check button. The check has completed successfully. So now I can go and click here to simulate the model. Now the simulation has run successfully and it is in our interest to look at the simulation results. I will create two plot windows by adding one through this click, and then I will go to View Windows and arrange them horizontally. On the top plot, I would like to display the inputs from both of the sensors, as well as the outdoor air temperature cutoff and the room air temperature set point. First, Let's look at the outdoor air temperature and its cutoff. You can see that sometimes the temperature is above and sometimes below the cutoff. Similarly, we have a room temperature and the room temperature set point. Again, the room temperature is sometimes above and sometimes below the set point. So what do you think? When should the heater be turned on for the first time in this simulation? Is it here or here or maybe here? Well, if you thought that this is where the heater turns on, you were right. On the bottom plot, 
I will reveal the resulting heater on off signal. The heater will indeed turn on once it is sufficiently cold both outside and in the room. This is valid for each of the periods where the output signal is true. Thank you for viewing my video. Enjoy simulating and see you in the next video. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the Modelica Buildings Library, please visit educational materials through links posted in the video description. See you in the next one.